My home is my castle. Will metal and wooden doors resist a shot from a pump-action gun? I thought there will be lots of these small marks. Busting movie myths. Is it sensible to hide from shots behind the car door? Find it out now. On Man in Arms. Pay attention to the target. We have a very exciting target today. A metal door. Great. We have come up with this test specifically for those who decided to change a front door and bought something cheaper to save money. Here's a usual metal door. Let's see if it can handle shots from our gun. The shot did not give the door any chances and made a fist-size hole in it. Listen, it seems no metal door can stop anyone with such a gun. And now, let's do this. Well, I never expected a shot to bring so much damage. I thought there will be lots of these small marks, and that's it. But to get out of peace like that... And now our door will meet canister shot. What power! It seems the producers of this door do not know what safety and reliability mean. Canister shot easily leaves several ragged open holes. Next shot is with a bullet. The bullet from caliber 12 easily goes through our unfortunate door. The damage that shot, canister shot, and bullet do to this door, it is... Well, it's amazing. And I want to ask everyone not to install this door. Yes, it's even worse than any door at all. Or putting a curtain there. What will happen if we shoot at a wooden door? Let's see. For our test, we took a wooden door of approximately 7 centimeters of width. Because of its high durability, it can be used as a front door. In a country house, for example, it looks much more solid than the previous metal one. Sergey, wooden door. The target is clear. It's your shot. Well, it will be great. For a shot, this door was not a great obstacle either. The shot gets through it, and you can see how parts of wood scatter from the other side. Wow, the wooden door turned out to be less durable, didn't it? I was so impressed by the moment when the shot got into the door and by so much wood that came off. I guess if we put ballistic gelatin behind it and looked what happens to it after the shot, we would see the gelatin full of wood chips. Let's continue, Evgenia. Yours is canister shot. Canister shot also gets through the door. This door, it was composed of several parts. It all got through, chips went off. I think that if there were another door behind it, same would happen to it. In action movies, people engaged in gunfire always hide from a shower of bullets behind the usual car door. We will test this cover ourselves to find out if it's safe enough. I think it will be interesting for all who often find themselves in traffic jams. Yes, sure.
like a giant fist. The shot gets through the car door and leaves it with an about 10 centimeter hole. They say a car is safe to travel. Wow, that's what I call a hole. How about that? I didn't expect that. Wow, serious. I didn't expect this. In my opinion, my home is my castle, and my car is my castle on the wheels. But see it hold like that. Evgenia, your cartridge with canister shot. There are nine balls there, and there probably will be nine holes in the door. We'll see now. Wow! Canister shot makes several open holes. Great. You know, I shudder every time, not because it's too loud, but because shockwave gets right here to me. Next shot is mine. A cartridge? Okay, it's a bullet. Wow, that's a recoil. It seems to be greater every time. Check. I did it. The heavy 12 mm lead bullet goes easily through the car door as if it was made of foil. That's a good example of what we see in action movies. When they show people driving in a car who then get out from gunplay just like that. But in fact, it's clear that it can't really happen. I think it will hold this door even at 50 meters. Let's get a closer look at our shots. Here is shot, canister shot, and bullet holes. I didn't think you can do something like that to a metal door. Let's take a look at the other side of the door. Wow, looks impressive. Wood was torn into pieces. I would say that from the front side, you can't really see the whole damage we did to the door. Let's see what happened to a metal door, ladies. I would say it was opened like a can. Just torn out. Yes, you can put a mailbox here, you know, so that they put mail right through it. Evgenia, what do you say? I didn't expect it to happen to this door. Metal and car, you see. But I see that you look at every shot and the damage it made with such a surprise. Well, I usually shoot at targets at practical gunfire. They are lead plates. Yes, and they fly away at two meters. Yes. Well, it's it. But they don't get through a piece of metal, tearing it apart. Yes, that's right. But you see, here is the safety cage that is made of more rigid metal. Canister shot. Canister shot got through it. It goes through thin metal. And safety cage. And then without losing power, it goes through the cage and goes further. I think that the second door, if it was there, it would also be torn into pieces. I think that if there were ballistic gelatin, it would catch it as well. So here's the conclusion. The main thing is to remember the safety rules. We have seen how much damage a shot from a pump-action gun can do.